Sedentary behaviour is a danger for all uh, modern lifestyles, given that the prevalence of sedentary behaviour is increasing. So we think, if we think across the lifespan, the amount of time that we spent sitting at home, in the office place, and as we uh, grow older, as an older adult, um, the time that we spent sitting is increasing rapidly. Now this is associated with numerous health risks, um, type 2 diabetes, and also with a marked increase of mortality. The purpose of the systematic review was to update a previous review done by colleagues at Loughborough University. The aim was to update the evidence base because the evidence on sedentary behaviour is rapidly evolving. If you think about the tablets and the different screen and sedentary behaviours that are available now, they will have changed rapidly in the last five years and it's important to continue to update this evidence base. Within the systematic review there were 15 included studies. They focused on preschool, school aged children, adolescents and adults. Across the younger people, so the preschool, school and adolescent age groups, we found that the elements of an unhealthy diet were linked with higher levels of sedentary behaviour. Examples of this include less fruit and vegetable intake and increased consumption of sugar and sweetened beverages and energy dense snacks. Future studies that are assessing sedentary behaviour and dietary intake should aim to use a standardised measure of dietary intake, which includes at least fruit and vegetable, energy dense snack and sugar sweetened beverage measures. And also when we're trying to measure sedentary behaviour, we need to try and look at objective measures of sedentary behaviour, using accelerometers or other devices, and also look at a wider range of sedentary behaviours.